seeing the show day handicap in the Underwood Stakes. The Cup was the first leg of the Daily Double with St Jude, the favourite. They've clicked away from Mamzelle Perdue. Noble Lancer in front down of the 250 metre mark on the outside. Here's St Jude. St Jude with a mighty run races up to Noble Lancer. Then further back, Comrade. St Jude's taken the lead now in the show cup. He's drawing away from Noble Lancer, Comrade. Cole Diesel late with our Dawn Star flying, but St Jude will get the money. St Jude won by a length and a quarter. Our Dawn Star, an incredible run to get up and run second. A head away third, Cole Diesel. Yes, St Jude in the box seat for most of the race held off the fast finishing our Dawn Star by a length and a quarter while 89 Caulfield Cup winner Cole Diesel was a half head away third. While in the Underwood, Citizen was the favourite. There on Citizen, the leader, Dr. Grace, into the straight now from Prince Salieri. Citizen into the clear from Durbridge and further back in the field then is Weekend Delight. But the leader, Dr. Grace, at the 150 metre mark, two lengths in front. Citizen trying hard from Prince Salieri. Dr. Grace still about a length in front. Citizen won't peg him back at the moment. Dr. Grace in front of Citizen near the line from Shiva's Revenge. And Dr. Grace, Dr. Grace, a half length, two Citizen, a neck away, third Shiva's Revenge. Yes, Dr Grace with Shane Dye aboard grabbed a winning break on the turn and held Citizen at bay to win by half a length. Now have a, let's have a quick check of the doubles and quaddies today. The extra double at Caulfield for 8 and 2, $73.15. The main double, 1 and 9, $77.60. The Caulfield Quadrella for 2, 1, 2 and 9, $636.35. And the quad extra, 1, 2, 9 and 5. A dividend there of $1,876.45. And for tonight, Jennifer, that's all in sport. I'm Thank looking forward you. to the weather. Absolutely. Thank you, Sandy. And coming up, David... Ace Green. Underwood Stakes at Caulfield has unearthed new outright favourites for both the Caulfield and Melbourne Cups. With his fighting win in the Underwood, Dr Grace is the new Caulfield Cup favourite. Trainer Jeff Chapman says the doctor will definitely start. Third place, Shiva's Revenge, is now outright Melbourne Cup favourite, aiming to give Bart Cummings his ninth win in the race. To race one at Caulfield today... The winner was number four, Del Mar, B. Werner at five to two in favourite. Second number six, Best Endeavours at 20 to one. And third number one, Neritzi at eight to one. Race two, number eight, Temporize, M. Flaherty at 20 to one. Second number four, Big Boost at eight to one. And third number six, Shedad at eight to one. In race three, the winner was number 10, Laranto, S. Marshall, seven to one. Second number 14, Quo Ego at 16 to one. And third number 13, Prince Acumen at five to two. Race four was the Tranquil Star Stakes. Shador went up to Latin Halo at the 200 metre mark. Three links in front of Final Walk Dance Floor, not a lady purpose. It's Shador in front, drawing away from Latin Halo in the last 100 metres. Shador, full of running now, is coming right away for Dittman. And Shador will go on and win it by about uh, two and a quarter lengths. Now, Latin Halo may have held second from Dance Floor, not on a photo. Then Righteous Lady. And they... Number two, Shador, L. Dittman, four to one. Number five, Latin Halo, seven to two. And three, Dance Floor Doll at nine to two. Race five, the Vic Health Show Day Handicap. St. Jude races to the front now, down to the hundred. St. Jude bolting away from them, from Noble Lancer, and then Cold Diesel out. But it's St. Jude who goes on to wins it by about a length and a half. Our Dawn Star flashed up on the inside, perhaps got second from Cold Diesel. Both he had a lovely run from the good barrier today, and I thought on the corner it'll take a good horse to beat him because he was always going to be hard to beat from the turn. Home. St Jude 9 to 2 in favourite, Ardorn Star 8 to 1, Cole Diesel at 66 to 1, race 6 the Underwood. Two leaders from Shiva's Revenge. Citizen hard ridden, still 50 inside, nearing the turn, and then weekend delight. Dr. Grace took the lead at the 400 metre mark from Durbridge. Prince Salieri out to tackle. Citizen held up round the turn. Dr. Grace kicked out by two lengths. Durbridge, Prince Salieri. Citizen's in the clear. Zitman gives him a crack with a whip, but Dr. Grace at the 200 has a nice lead. It's Dr. Grace by over two lengths to Prince Salieri and Citizen. Dr. Grace in front at the 100. Citizen giving chase. Dr. Grace a length and a half. Citizen trying very hard but Dr Grace is going to win it Dr Grace three quarters citizen Shiver's Revenge has got third in front of What about the Caulfield Cup and the Cox Plate both still his mission? Well, I don't know about the Cox Plate but the Caulfield Cup definitely he's, he's an outstanding mile and a half horse and I'd be silly not to utilise his optimal capacities wouldn't I? Shiver's Revenge prefers to be on top of the ground and he got in a couple of bad patches on the railway side but uh, he finished quite nice in the straight and it was a pretty good run he's coming in hand pretty well Dr. Grace, RS Dye at 4 to 1, Citizen 6 to 4 in favourite, Shiva's Revenge at 40 to 1, and Race 7, the Royal Show Handicap. Princess Pushy trying hard, she's chasing hard. It's Newbury Star by a length and a half, though, in the last 100 metres. From Princess Pushy, they'll streak the rest. Newbury Star in front, still by three quarters. Princess Pushy lifting on the line. 
Oh, they hit it. This is close. I think Newbury star from Princess Pussy, but she's made a very strong challenge right on the post. The farm is about five away third. Newbury Star 12 to 1, Princess Pushy 9 to 2, and the Farmer at 25 to 1. Race 8, the winner was Akushla Marie, 5 to 2 and favourite. Second High Chicago, 9 to 1, and third Road Song at 12 to 1. Now the Melbourne Daily Double for 1 and 9 paid $77.60. The extra double, 8 and 2, $73.15. The Quadrella, 2, 1, 2, and 9, $636.35. The Quad Extra, for one, two, nine, and five, one thousand eight hundred and seventy-six dollars forty-five, and the straight six, the numbers ten, two, one, two, nine, and five, paid two hundred and ten thousand one hundred and twelve dollars and twenty cents, and there were two live units. And they and went I, out. No, we didn't have them. <laughs> All right, thank Thanks, you, Mary. Albert. Now to our weather with.